Dad's been carrying on with Charlene McKenzie ever since her husband died. She's got him over there building one thing or another. But if you ask me, it's the company she wants more than the bookcases. I heard that. That's a boy. Hey, yeah, uh, <laughs> I, I made that for John the night he was born. Oh, it's an excellent chair. So what have you two been up to all day? Making bookcases. <laughs> Sit down. Dinner's ready. Boy, that smells good. I'm starved. I hope you like it. I'll, I'll bet he will. He's fed up with my cuisine. <laughs> For what we are about to receive, may the Lord make us truly grateful. Amen. <laughs> you know, it, it feels good to have a family eating around this table again. See you again? Not like today. Go inside, you're freezing. D it doesn't have to. Don't say it. Don't say it, Johnny. I'll just say good night. I'll hit the hay. Closer to home. I'm gonna watch Castle some Rock TV. Killer is in the news again. Despite Good night, John. Renewed efforts on the part of police forces in three counties, the killer is still at large and is likely to remain so for some time. We spoke to Sheriff George Bannerman outside the Castle County Courthouse earlier today. Well, we have no new leads this time. However, there is always the hope that uh, some citizen, perhaps the audience right now might have some information that would be very helpful. My line is always open and I would welcome any help we can possibly get. And that's really all I have to say at this time. Thank you. Thus far, nine separate murders have been attributed to the Castle Rock killer, dating back almost three and a half years. The most recent victim of this shocking wave of rape murders was 15-year-old Debbie Linderman, a sophomore at Castle Rock High School. Her partially clad body was found just one month ago today in the Rock Lane boatyard. As in the other Castle Rock killings, cause of death was determined by the coroner's office to be multiple stab wounds. Next on News 8, sports and weather with Ron. After this important message. Gonna help him. What did you say, son? Sheriff. Come here. Bannerman. We think the killer hit around the corner just out the end of the tunnel there. When that poor girl came through, the bastard was waiting for her. Tell the kids not to come through here, damn it. Uh, you know, they like to use this as a shortcut to school. Stood right here. Found a lot of cigarette butts, same brand. Eight or nine butts here. This help you any? I don't know. Have you got something he, he might have touched? 
a warn. Uh, Frank, give me that package. It's the only real evidence we have. Found it in one of the bushes back there. Same brand as the butts we found on the ground. Here. I thought I, I might have felt something, but That's I... okay, that's okay. Can't say we didn't try, huh? Dispatch to Sheriff Bannerman. Yeah, this is Bannerman. We got another body here, Sheriff. Oh. Damn it. What's the word, George? You used to work in the castle. Uh, George? Yes, George. Yes, George. Yes, George. Yes, George. Yes, George. Yes, George. What? Psychic that's Smith, isn't it? Stand back, please. Give us a break. We're trying to do it. We're trying to do it. I know you're anxious. You're just going to have to wait. I don't know. Say, it looks like a crown on me. It looks like a crown on me. Dave, get that shot over there. Okay. Back up. Anyone know who she is? Don? This girl. Her name's Alma Freshette. She works at the uh, coffee pot cafe across the way there. Your idea, George, to have a psychic Don, solve the case? Get these people out of here. Roll them back. Roll the people back and knock it off those cameras. No, no more cameras. No more. Don? Yeah. Nobody comes up here. You got it, Sheriff. She knows it. Why should I waste a smile on you? <laughs> you want to see something? It's a goddamnest thing. What? Come up here to the gazebo. She knows it. Not scared. She knows him. All right. <laughs> 